This is uh, Richard back at you. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we go through our fuel system on our Dirty Bird race car. We take all of it apart and clean all the methanol fuel out of it uh, after every race uh, because it's really uh, harsh and corrosive. So we want to get out of there as fast as possible. But I wanted to show you something that feeds the, the Dirty Bird uh, 2,000 horsepower type uh, motor and car. So this is a CNS blow-through carburetor. Uh, my friend uh, Roger over there uh, built it for me. Uh, it's one of the most uh, advanced uh, blow-through carburetors you've ever seen. This thing uh, has drivability tuning. Uh, it has boost tuning. I mean, it, it's one of the, the nicest things you've ever seen. But I wanted to explain a little bit about it because it is so uh, awesome and it's so uh, in unique. Uh, when you first uh, had a Holley carburetor, this is what it looked like. This bowl would be on this end, this bowl would be on this end, and you had one float, one needle and seat, you had fuel coming up in here, and you had one seat keeping the bowl full at all times. Well, this carburetor has to move so much fuel that uh, it had to be totally redesigned. So what they did is, when I was running C16 racing fuel, we had a needle and seat and float here, a needle and seat float here, one here, and one here, and uh, a massive fuel pump and the carburetor would feel just fine, keep the bowls full. Now once we went to methanol alcohol, uh, we had to uh, use from a gallon, a half of fuel to two and a half gallons of uh, an eighth mile pass of fuel. So what they did is they took the needle and seat out of here in the float, out here, out here, out here, and now they put on electronic needle and seats right here. And what they did is they put a little float right here that uh, is on a shaft and a little donut that goes up and down that goes to a computer in my car that opens my needle and seats here to keep these bowls f uh, full of fuel. Because we use such a massive amount of fuel in such a little bit of time you got to be able to keep these bowls full completely at all times. So that's why they did all this neat stuff. So let me kind of get this uh, well, apart and I'll kind of give you an idea what it looks like on the inside. We did upgrade our fuel pump this year. What did we go with? Air motive? Yeah, uh, one. Uh, 1,000? Uh, that's uh, 12 gallons a minute. 12 gallons a minute? Mm hmm. Yeah, because I think it'd be bigger than a 1,000. You had a 1,000 on there, I think. Yeah, it was a. Uh, uh, 10 gallons a minute. We just up to two gallons a minute, but the uh, pump size and volume size is 10 times different. And if y'all seen this pump, it is, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's Twin massive. Beard, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so a new hex drive type pump. Try to get this off of here too. This is like a carburetor on steroids. It is. Massive now if you get in here and you look, you can see my little donut that goes up and down on the shaft. That sends a signal to the computer, which opens up the needle and seat right here. This is a massive needle and seat. It'll probably flow five gallons in four seconds. You know, it's, it's massive. Then you got your accelerator pump, 50 cc's right here. And see, so you can see here where the, the old float and needle and seat used to be right here. They took them, blocked them off right here. Okay, so now what makes this carburetor unique too is uh, you got your normal jets like your normal Holly, but on your boost reference side when the turbos come up and start making boost, boost goes through this hole right here. It travels back through here and it comes through, through here. I, I believe it comes through, actually it doesn't. It comes through here and comes out through here like this. Mm -hmm. And it comes through and it gets on this back side of this uh, power drive right here and pushes open and lets more fuel come up through here, which goes to these dump tubes right here, which is in the center of the carburetor. So, but let me show you what a standard power valve looks like. This is your standard power valve here. And this is a boost reference one here. The springs on the outer side right here. Now I wanted to show you too, why we have to keep changing these too is, see how far that opens right here? This is a new one. This is an old one. See how it will barely open up? Well, when it barely opens like that, it restricts it really bad. 
So they have to open up all the way. If not, it's like dejetting the carburetor. But if you get over here, now you got my power valve, and then you got the spring is on the opposite end. Non boost reference, this is boost reference. Now, on the gas versions, they had jets back here that you could screw in and out. I have some little tiny ones. But being that it's alcohol, we've just got six massive holes behind each power valve. They're probably 100s, 120, something like that, I'm not for sure. We went all the good so when that opens up, what it does, it sucks fuel through this big hole here. Power valve opens up these here, comes out here, and then comes out here under boost. So, the other end's identical the same way. You can kind of see here how much bigger the, we have to bore the gasket out. This is a stock gasket right here. You can see here we have to bore them out quite a bit just to make it flow fuel right. So, pretty cool upgrades from this to this. Boost reference, fueling. Really awesome carburetor. One of the most nicest ones you've ever seen. It's a dominator as well, Chris. Mm -hmm, to 1000, <clears throat> yes sir. Man, some big old jet holes there. Mm -hmm. This is our jet kit here. Before we left Amarillo, we had 180s in it. When we went down to Pinwell here a week or so ago, we upped it to 188s to get our tune up right. And I mean, it was dead on. This carburetor flowed so well. I called Roger Monday and, and just told him how much we loved it. It works really good. So if you need anything, give old Roger at uh, CNS Specialties a holler. Here's their phone number here. These guys can set you up on anything. So, But you see what feeds the dirty bird is fuel. Pretty cool carburetor for sure. Really advanced. So if y'all need anything, give us a holler. Y'all have a wonderful day.